Hello everyone. So today we are going to work continue with this minimap system. So here when we click on the minimap, the world view will be snapped or quickly moved into the location that we click on the minimap. So here is the preview. And that's what we are going to work on today. Okay, so last time, this is where we stopped. We can move around the world and you can see the minimap. The, this is square which highlights the area that we are currently focusing on is short, uh, is moving. So now the next thing I want to do is when I click somewhere, I should instantly go there in the world. So for that, let me open the minimap and uh, let's see if we can find an event. Yes, we can. We bind in on mouse button down. So it's mm. let's just add a print here Wait. so we can confirm if it is working or not yeah it's working obviously so now when this happens, uh, this one in. should not be empty. Can we directly? Okay. Um, no. Actually, sure, what to return? Nothing we can make visible. Okay, that's fine. Now let's uh, try to determine the location that we need to move the character in the world when we click on the map. So, get mouse. Position on viewport. Uh, let's print this and see what we get. Three thirty one, seven thirty one. Okay, middle is. Oh, we can't click on here. Yeah, but again, we don't need to move to the same location, so it's fine. This corner is one zero four two nine five nine four. Okay. Right, this location is 345 actually. Three, it's three. Uh, this edge should be 350. So, because okay, now I get it. Here, you see, we have set the location to 200 and the size is 300. So, 200 is the middle point plus 300 divided by 2 which is 150 is 350 so okay it's same as in these coordinates space all right so that means we can i think i know enough now to do the reverse calculation to map back to the world position 
so uh, how if we check the previous calculation we did to convert from the screen this uh, viewport space to the world space is this we interchanged x and y and multiplied by this word scale um no not multiplied so we are doing a lot of things and some inversion also happens so let's try to figure this out this well get some space let's break this so x value is fine we don't need to invert that too because here we are inverting oh this is for x okay let's forget about the previous calculation and let's do this new here we need to know the viewport size because for y we need to get the distance from the bottom of the viewport to the location so this one subscribe this one so that's actually going to be our y and then 200 by 200 by is the middle point so we need to subtract uh, instead of 100 should be put no we have to keep for 200 okay now let's make a territory This should be our y, this should be our x because in the viewport this is y, this is x but in the world you see red arrow is this way and yellow arrow or green arrow is this way that means y is this way, x is that way. So x positive is here x negative is in that direction so and same way y positive is this direction y negative is that direction so let's uh, figure out positives and negatives I think we can try and see but first we need to multiply this uh, obviously we need to change x multiply by minus 1 and uh, y also I think need to multiply let's see and then so we still haven't we have we still haven't scaled up so we need to multiply we have the word scale so word scale is proportionate to the size of map size of mini map here also we did that calculation so we need to do the inverse word scale and also get the map Get size 
not desired size canvas slot get size and then scale divided by the size and that one should be this value should be multiplied with this now this result should be the word location where we need to move the character if i did the math correct now how do we move the player uh, let's take a look at the player oh we can actually directly set the location without moving so Bone because we have a bone here, not a character. Then set that to location. As for Z, uh, hundred twenty. This is the current one. Let me put it this it like this but this may not work always in case we have mountains or stuff so but just for testing let's use the same height and see what happens yeah Our calculation is correct but there is some offset it's not exactly the position where we click it's slightly above that for some reason that I don't understand what might be causing that but anyway the system is working so what could be Cause in that offset, but I think we have a problem here because in here, these uh, all these values, these positions, and everything is based on this uh, 1920 180 this full HD resolution. So, I'm not sure how this behaves. Well, let's test. In this view, it's not really working correctly. Let's do a print. Let's just print X. So in the full screen, it is uh, 1937. Okay, that's odd. That's not even 1920. But yeah, that should be because of the scaling of the game window I have. So it's fine. So if I go to this view, it's even reduced so we need some uniform value rather than this one let's also check the mouse position see if the mouse position also changes based on the screen size it's 200 in the middle uh, oh it's still 200 let's not change it okay then instead of using this i think if i just use one more quantity should work no see it's over here oh 
this is y so not 90 20 it should be this value that's somewhere okay now it centers properly see and also let's see if it works now yeah it works now even when it is scaled great okay i think we can stop this episode here and as improvements we sh can look into like when we zoom in and zoom out we can make this box this preview box larger and smaller i look into that and also we do have the ability to rotate the camera around and that should be should also represent here so we need to look into that too all right so let's stop this episode here for now and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link will be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye